Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be capturing how to generate SSH keys for authenticating with GitHub using Git Bash for Windows. Now for a little background, SSH protocol uses a public key cryptography for authenticating the users with the system. Now in very simple terms, this works with the, with a the key pair, wherein the server will have your public key and a user or the client will have its uh, private key. Now, in order to provide extra security, the GitHub uh, supports authentication via SSH keys. There are a number of uh, Git clients like uh, GitHub for Desktop, SourceTree, or Git Kraken, which support uh, generating these keys for you. On the other hand, you can even use uh, Putty uh, to generate the SSH keys. And the third option is uh, SSH keygen tool, which comes by default with your uh, Git Bash for Windows. So in this video, we'll be using the SSH keygen tool, which comes along with the GitHub for desktop to generate our SSH key pair. So let's get started. So as the first step, uh, we need to make sure that we have got the Git Bash for Windows installed on our system and we have the relevant environment variable for Git Bash. So in my case, uh, I do have a Git Bash here. And now we'll be checking if we have the environment variable properly set for Git Bash for Windows. So we'll go to environment variables, go to the system variables and uh, check inside the path variable. Now I have got this environment variable for my Git here. So we are all okay. Now as a second step, we need to check if we have got uh, username and email saved in our git config file so in order to check that you can use the following command git config list now in my case here i have got my uh, username and email already set in my git config if you don't have your username and email set you can use the following command to set your global username and global email which is git config and hit enter. Similarly, we've got git config global user email and hit enter. And for the last time, let's view our uh, config file again. Done. Now, before we start uh, generating the SSH keys, it's a good idea to check if you already got any SSH keys in your system. Now the default location um, generally is the .ssh folder inside the user home directory, which is uh, this one in my case. But you can also check it via the command using, using ls-al. This basically lists the contents of the .ssh folder. So as you can see, I only have two files here, environment and known hosts, but there are no keys here. So, so far we have checked that we've got uh, Git Bash um, installed, environment variable properly set. We've got global username and global email saved in the git config file. Um, before we proceed any further, now we should check that we've got SSH agent running or not. Now on Windows, it's very simple. We can view this from the task manager sort this with s so i can see a ssh agent running here if it's not running you can start the ssh agent using the command ul ssh agent minus s if it returns you the pid that means it started the process now since the ssh agent is running we are good to we are good to go for generating the SSH key pairs and the command for that is SSH gen minus T is for type which is RSA minus B is for byte size we'll keep it 4096 and a comment and hit enter 
So as you can see, it's generating the SSH keys. It will ask you enter the file in which to save the keys. Uh, it, it will give you a default location along with the default file name. So we'll accept that, just hit enter. Passphrase. Now passphrase is an additional layer of security over your SSH keys. So in cases like um, suppose you lose your laptop or you lose your de device wherever you're using these keys, somebody could use your keys. So you put another password on top of it. So you can put any string as your passphrase. Enter. I'll ask you again. And here. It has generated our SSH key. Let's look at the output quickly. So it's saying generated public private key pair. Location is here and we have already set the passphrase. All done up till so far. Now we can even go at this location and check if physically if the keys have been created. So we've got ID underscore RSA. This one is a private and this is a public key. It comes with a dot pop. So at this point, we can copy the contents of our public key. You can open it in an editor and uh, we need to copy these contents over to the GitHub. So for doing that, let's uh, go to your GitHub account. Navigate to settings, SSH and GPG keys, new SSH key. You can provide any title you like. So string would do and then you need to copy the entire contents of the key here and hit add. So we got our public key submitted to the server. Let's go back. While our public key is with the server now, we need to add our private key to the SSH agent. So so let's do this by our next command, which is SSH add followed by our file name. Oops, I think we need a mistake. So let's do it again. SSH you need to pass on file name, which is ID It will ask you the passphrase. Hit enter. And here we got our private key added to the SSH agents. If you want to check uh, whether our key has been added successfully, you can use a command switch add minus L to list it. And here we, the SSH agent is showing our private key, which you have added. So it's all done here. So while we are all set up now, we can use another command to check if we are able to authenticate. So we'll use SSH. I think I mistyped again. It is SSH. Let's double check this. Good. Now we should get a successful yeah so so as you can see we are getting the successfully authenticated response so i think we are all set up now and don't mind this extra bit if you're getting successfully authenticated that means you are good to go so that's all and before we leave guys uh, just a couple of bonus tips if you ever need to change your passphrase you can use ssh keygen minus p it will prompt you with the file name and you can hit enter and then it will ask you the old passphrase this is how you change the passphrase another tip if you ever need to uh, delete the keys which you have saved in the ssh agent uh, you can use the command ssh add i think and caps t this will remove all the keys from your ssh agent so all identity is removed. So that's all guys. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to check the description of the video for these commands. And hope to see you again. Thanks. Bye-bye.